So this month I've been a bit lazy in the whole reading department. I've had tons of work and writing to do so I haven't really been able to read that much. So I've actually only read two books. Holes by Louise Saka and The Modern St. Catherine's by John Green. I'm going to start off with Holes first. This is a book that I basically read in probably about 20 hours. Like, it didn't take me full 20 hours, but like, you know. Um, but I remember reading this as a kid. So yeah, the film version of Holes is really good. It actually follows really strictly to the way this book is set out, even the skipping between the different time zones because most of it's set in the present day. There is quite a lot that's skipping back a hundred years or like back like a hundred and fifty years and stuff like that. So, but I never feel like it's confusing because it's very clear when each section begins and each section starts. Um, the film is really great. It has Shia LaBeouf in it um, before he was like crazy famous in New Transformers and it's just a really good film to watch. The book is just as good. If you've ever seen the film, go read the book and if you've read the book, go see the film. Um, this one actually has like a survival guide at the back because it's like the 10 year anniversary one. I haven't actually read the survival guide but it seems quite funny from the bits that I've just like flicked at through which is quite a nice touch to the book. So the book's actually only that thick, that's the survival guide. And now to Abundance of Catherine's. This is amazing. I was reading it on the train from going to and from seeing John Green and John and Hank signed it and my sister got this for me for Christmas and she left a little note for it so I've got my sister's signature, John and Hank's signature in there, which is lovely and it's the good colour. I absolutely love this book because although I'm not very mathematically inclined, um, I just scraped a B at GCSE and um, even like the diagrams that you can see on these pages, they don't really detract or even for somebody who doesn't understand maths, it doesn't really lose focus in a way. Um, the footnotes are amazing because Although you have to kind of look out for the little footnotes you sign, which I sometimes forget to do and then realise at the bottom, like, I should have read two. But you can just kind of flick back and turn. That's the only issue with this book. Sometimes I completely forget to look out for the footnote numbers and then have to come back and read them previously or read back um, to kind of keep with the flow of the footnotes. But if you pay attention and actually look for the numbers, then you can just read it straight after and the flow is much better. The story is really well written, it's really funny and it's just one of those genuinely good books and this is a genuinely good book. I've just been reading two good books this, this um, time. I know this is a really short video as, as I've only read two books and that brings my total to like eight and I should be reading like 30 so I should be reading like one every two weeks. Um, which I'm kind of keeping with but it's fine. Anyway, I shall see you guys later. 